Hey everyone, today is the 23rd of May in the year 2024, and my name is Tim Poffenberger. I am hoping to show one of, I feel like, GitLab Premium's best kept secrets. Uh, it's this construct called Needs Project, and the intent behind the, the Needs Project, or, or what it's hoping to provide, is giving users the ability to take artifacts that are created in one project and um, easily pull them into other projects. Historically, you've had to rely on um, the API to, to do things like this, and this helps make it a little bit easier. Um, there are some limitations to what you can do with this um, in terms of the number of uh, needs projects you can depend upon. I think right now it's a, it's a limit of 10 projects. But um, I'm going to walk you through what I feel like is kind of the, the best way to showcase its potential. So I have two projects. Um, I have a parent project and a child project. This parent project is going to create a, a um, an artifact, and not only an artifact, but a report typed artifact. And um, this child project, project is going to rely upon it. So here's the definition of the CIAML file for the parent. We have um, two, step, two stages, uh, define and tributary. Uh, image definer is job number one. And what we're doing here is we're going to create a dot env um, report artifact. This dot env or this dot env report artifact gives you the ability to create a, um, a key value pair, uh, very similar to what like a, a bash, um, uh, bash shell or any other shell can take in and then, um, predefined variables for you uh, that can be referenced within a, either a script or within uh, your CI job. So it's going to take this uh, CI image name, it's going to define Python slim, it's going to export this out to or output it into a .env file, and then I'm going to register this as an artifact, and then I'm going to also register it as a .env report. This is the magic uh, from a GitLab standpoint that allows you to then use this later on for any jobs that inherit this report. Uh, traditionally, any job within a, a given pipeline uh, that occurs after a subsequent stage will by default um, receive these environment variables for free. But in this scenario, um, what we're actually gonna do is we're, we're going to um, go back to the parent real quick uh, we're going to kick off this second stage and we're going to trigger a downstream project so let's look at this yaml file for the downstream project called child project uh, we have one job and it's going to reference this ci image name to determine which uh, ci which uh, docker container to leverage to run this script within and um, it's going to output two things. It's going to say look on line five, and it's also going to say uh, output the Python version. And we have this needs project construct in here. And the intent behind this is we're going to take this parent names, project namespace, and then the parent project. So it's it's relative to this uh, regrabnifop ultimate intermingle. And it's going to um, pull the artifacts from the main um, commit. Uh, sorry, the, the main branch, and then uh, and m the most recent uh, commit on the main branch. And then it's going to take this job image definer, uh, which we, we called up here, and it's going to say artifacts true. So this needs project and then this artifacts true are the key things, uh, and specifying the job as well, are the key things that are going to then allow this to be pulled in. And the cool thing here is you can see this CI image name is what we're referencing here. So not only is this needs project going to get instantiated, but we can it's going to get instantiated before the image actually gets pulled in. So let's watch this in, in real life. So I have a, a running or a job that has already succeeded. This image definer was created. Uh, it exported this artifact um, you can see here. As .env, and then you can actually see it being registered as an artifact. Uh, then this trigger job get, got kicked off, and then this child project, uh, which image job was leveraged. And we can see here on, it says Python version 3.12.3, look on line five, and if we look on line five, 
voila, it's leveraging this Python slim, which was an environment variable dynamically instantiated from the parent project. Uh, so the, the potential of leveraging this is really, really neat. Uh, thanks for letting me share with you.